In Nashville, the Tennessee House was in session all day today as they considered resolutions to expel three Democrat state representatives. Tonight, two of the three were expelled from the state house. Joining us now from D.C. is WBKO's Washington correspondent Josh Roltenberg. Josh, thanks for joining us. First off, why were these state representatives facing expulsion in the first place? Yeah, good evening, Isaac. So this all centers around that shooting that took place at the Covenant Christian School in which seven people were killed, including the shooter and three children that were nine years old. And so following that shooting, there was the debate around gun reform taking place in the Tennessee legislature and in the Tennessee State House. Uh, and ultimately, Democrats there wanted to talk more about it, but didn't feel like their voices were being heard. And so ultimately, they protested on the Tennessee House floor. There was a bullhorn involved. They were talking when they weren't called upon. And in every state house across the country, there are decorum rules, there are procedure rules, and ultimately uh, the House Republicans there that have a super majority felt like they were not living up to those decorum rules, and so that's why these expulsion votes came about today. Now, keep in mind, this is the first time in Tennessee state history that these allegations of these crimes were brought up on the House floor to kick members out of the Tennessee House of Representatives, and as you hit on it, there were two members that were ultimately expelled. Keep in mind, these were two black male lawmakers. It's important here because the one that was survived expulsion was a white woman. And afterwards, she was asked, why do you feel that you survived expulsion? And she said it might have to do with the color of my skin. And so while this is the first time that we're really getting a grip on this as a nation, this is obviously not the end of this situation. Even a month after the tragic shooting at the Covenant School in Nashville, and there have been many calling for gun control since then, correct? Yes. Yeah, I, I basically, I mean, there's been calls not just in Tennessee, but there's been calls across the country. Um, again, going back to just the Tennessee legislature, uh, you're talking about a Republican supermajority there. And if Republicans there or anything like Republicans are here, they're simply not interested in having the conversation around gun reform. You have heard things about trying to hardening schools and trying to have teachers potentially, potentially carry guns in schools or making school security stronger. But the, the topic of gun reform is not one that ultimately the Tennessee legislature has an appetite for, and it's certainly not what Congress has an appetite here for other or House and Senate Democrats that would love to see gun reform, but House and Senate Republicans simply just not interested. All right. From our nation's capital, WBKO's Washington correspondent, Josh Rotenberg. Josh, thanks for joining us here tonight. Thanks for having me.